The British Army is preparing for a weapons revolution. Its standard assault rifle, the SA-80 or L-85, which has served its service since 1987, is now facing phased retirement. With an ambitious project called Project Greyburn, the UK is seeking to replace this iconic weapon with a new, more lethal, lightweight, and adaptable model. According to the latest report from the UK Ministry of Defence in 2025, the project will enter its assessment phase in 2026 with the goal of increasing troop firepower by up to 10 times, according to the Strategic Defence Review. The SA-80, a 5.56x45mm NATO-caliber bullpup rifle, was born from a 1976 prototype and entered production in 1985. Its compact design allows for a long barrel without excessive overall size, making it ideal for close-quarters combat. However, its history is steeped in controversy. During the 1991 Gulf War, the weapon frequently jammed in dusty environments, earning it the nickname Civil Servant for being, quote, inoperative and unfireable. A major upgrade by Heckler & Koch in the 2000s resulted in the A2 variant, followed by the A3 in the 2018 to 2020s, which improved accuracy and reliability. The Ministry of Defense claims the A3 is one of the world's leading weapons, with a muzzle velocity higher than that of the USM-4. However, the SA-80 is considered obsolete in the face of contemporary challenges, advanced body armor, long-range combat, and hybrid environments like Ukraine. The 5.56mm cartridge is less effective at penetrating modern armor, so the Ministry of Defense is seeking a weapon with a flatter trajectory, longer range, and greater destructive power. Project Greyburn, planned since 2021, aims to replace 150,000 minus 180,000 SA-80s from 2025 to 2030 with a potential budget of billions of pounds. We need a weapon that makes troops more lethal," said analyst Nicholas Drummond. Before Greyburn, there was Project Hunter 2023, which introduced the L403A1 Kilo Siemens 1 from Knight's Armament Company. This AR platform weapon, with a sound suppressor and advanced vortex optics, was awarded to the Army Special Operations Brigade ASOB, and the Royal Marines. The 90 million pounds contract for 10,000 units increases lethality in high threat zones with an ambidextrous design for left and right-handed users. Testing in Norway 2025 proved its reliability in extreme weather. The L403A1 paved the way for Greyburn, offering interoperability with NATO allies. Project Greyburn is attracting interest from global manufacturers. Unlike the bullpup SA-80, the new candidates tend to be AR style, more modular, ergonomic, and easily assembled in the UK for a secure supply chain. Here are the two main contenders from Beretta Defense Technologies, BDT, which is finalizing its bid at IDEX 2025-1. Beretta new assault rifle platform, NARP, developed since 2018, the NARP is based on the AR-15 but optimized for lethality. Key features Fully ambidextrous, highly modular, easy to change barrels slash calibers, and reduced sound signature. Lighter weight than the SA-80, with improved reliability to address classic AR issues. BDT promises local production in the UK. BDT's Jack Cadman said, This addresses the UK's lethality problem. Two. Sako M23. This Finnish-Swedish weapon has been proven in Nordic militaries. It's an AR design with ambidextrous controls, accurate to 600 meters, and adaptable to NATO calibers. It's lighter, 3.5 kilograms versus the SA-80's 4 kilograms, and ergonomic, making it suitable for multitasking forces. Other competitors include Heckler and Koch's HK416, slash HK433, which have experience upgrading the SA-80 and the potential of the US Sig Sauer M7 chambered in 6.8 by 51 mm for superior armor penetration. The Ministry of Defense is considering calibers, retain 5.56 mm for interoperability, or move up to 6.5 Creedmoor slash 6.8 mm for ranges beyond 800 meters and lethal impact. Exclusive BFBS testing in 2025 showed the NARP and SACO excel in accuracy and reload speed. 
though they are not bull pups. This new weapon is designed to be a step change in lethality. Unlike the SA-80, which is limited to 5.56 mm, the Greyburn Candidate integrates advanced optics such as Elbit systems or Vortex, enabling night-per-day threat detection at up to 1 km. A muzzle suppressor reduces flash-slash-sound, making it ideal for special operations. Potential new calibers like 6.8 mm, similar to the USN GSW, offer a 40% increase in kinetic energy, penetration of level 4 armor, and a flat trajectory for precision fire. Modularity allows for the attachment of drone sights, or AI-assisted aiming, aligning with the Ministry of Defense's vision for a quote connected force. Reliability is improved. Zero jamming and sand slash dust tests, a contrast to the previous SA-80. Ergonomically, the ambidextrous design reduces training time by 20%, while its lightweight, under 3.5 kg, improves infantry mobility. Integration with NATO communications systems ensures seamless collaboration on joint missions. Project Greyburn isn't just a weapon change. It's part of the Ministry of Defense's post-Ukraine reforms, where squad-level lethality is crucial. With a potential budget of £4 billion, including Project Shamer for machine guns, the UK aims to make troops more adaptable to drones and cyber threats. Local production will create thousands of jobs and strengthen the UK defense industry. Final selection is expected by the end of 2025, with rollout in 2027. If successful, this weapon will position the British Army at the forefront of NATO, more lethal than its Russian or Chinese rivals. However, challenges include high costs and training transitions. As Major Ollie Pope said of the A3 upgrade, it's a completely different weapon, more accurate, more lethal. Greyburn promises a new era, one where every soldier carries unmatched destructive power. The British Army's new assault rifles under Project Greyburn are an evolutionary leap. From the modular NARP to the battle-tested SACO, these candidates offer superior lethality, ready for 21st century warfare. As the world changes, the UK is ensuring its forces don't just survive, they dominate.